Let's take a look at the code in this LabVIEW project. I'll begin with PC main, which is the human machine interface or HMI running on the PC host. The VI begins by creating or updating the config file or configuration file for the RT target. This config file contains a string built from the run state, the logging interval, and the data log file name. The name of the config file is taken from the front panel control and then placed into the MyRio file system that is mapped onto the PC host. After that, the data log file name is used to open the data log file itself in read-only mode and this type definition establishes the specific format of the file. It contains the three axis accelerometer values and then a timestamp. The number of records is displayed. We make sure that we're at the beginning of the data log. Read all of the data log entries and then format the data into a multi-trace plot. Finishes up by closing the data log file and reporting any errors. Let's move on to the data logger itself, which runs on the real-time target. Notice the absence of controls and indicators on the front panel. This is what gives it the nickname Headless VI. The main process loop reads the configuration file, and this is where it extracts the three values that were originally set by the human machine interface. And here the sensor values are read and then written out to the data log file according to the rate specified. The second process loop simply blinks an LED to show that the real-time target is running a VI. Let's take a look at the details of the measurement sub-VI. This is based on the Express VI for reading the onboard accelerometer, so it returns the three values. Take the current date and time and then bundle that together into a cluster based on this type definition. The type definition is a custom control located here in the Project Explorer. You see it's defined as a strict type def and it's a cluster containing these four elements. You can create a new custom control by selecting the target and choosing New Control. Now let's study the data acquisition process in a little bit more detail. One of the values read from the configuration file is the run mode. And this is an integer that's uh, normally 0 or 1. The main point here is whether or not it's 0. So as long as the run mode is 0, then nothing happens and the VI waits for five seconds and then pulls the configuration file again. When the run mode is not equal to zero, that's when we collect the data and write it out to the file. Opening the data log could be done a number of different ways. I'm using open or create, so that way it can create it if it doesn't already exist. And this is uh, write only, because I'm not reading any data in this VI. The information from write dialog is based on the type definition that was used in the get accelerometer values sub VI. The logging interval is specified in minutes, so that gets converted into milliseconds. Note that the process loop never stops. You can use the run mode to determine whether or not to collect data, but the VI itself should always run. Let's finish up by locating the functions in their subpalettes. All of the file related functions are located here. For example, the file constant that we see for defining the path is available right here. That's a path constant. And then build path and scan from file are located here. Format into file was used in the human machine interface VI. The data logger functions are also located under file IO. We'll come down to advanced file functions and then data log. So we have open, read, write, and close.